Just wanted to tell you all that my, my two-year-old just called me a My Little Ponies character because I have sparkles on my eyes. And really that is the ultimate compliment if I'm wearing sparkles on my eyes because who doesn't want to be Princess Celestia? She puts the sun in the sky. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a video that I feel like I've been prepping for a while now of products that are under 10 bucks US that are all from the drugstore, fairly new or at least new to me, and products that I feel like are incredible quality. These are all products I reach for on a fairly consistent basis. A lot of them are brand new launches, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell down below so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And give this video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful. So without further ado, let's get into this. First, I want to start out with two concealers I've been reaching for a ton, like more often than like tart shape tape. <gasps> One is by Ulta Beauty. This is their full coverage concealer. I talked about this in the video that I did where I tested out five star rated products that are under 20 bucks from Ulta, and I was pleasantly surprised by the consistency and the quality of this. It is like full coverage, as in I need about two layers or so to cover up any dark circles I have going on under my eyes, but I have it on right now. I also have it covering a zit, and it does a really good job. It's a nice thin consistency, but very nice and creamy and easy to blend out. And I find it's just not as drying as Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes, if I don't mix it in with an oil, it's just like I look like the Sahara Desert under my eyes. But this one I have not had any issues with. It sets well even when I bake it. Sometimes when you bake certain concealers, they can get really, really dry and dusty this not so much and then the other one I've been really enjoying is by Makeup Revolution this is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape but again I don't find it as drying like look at this wand like it is like a thinner like smaller version of the Tarte Shape Tape and I do also appreciate that the Makeup Revolution one has a bunch more undertones that work for my skin tone than say the Ulta one Ulta is either do you want pink or do you want yellow but Makeup Revolution tends to be a little bit more neutral based which I really appreciate but both are great concealers I love them both next I want to talk about this beautiful number, like look how pretty and shiny it is. This is the Chrome Eye Mousse from JCAT and I was pleasantly surprised by this. When I was first swatching it and I felt it, I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting something a little bit more moussey and fluffy because I mean it is called an eye mousse. But once I actually like look at that, like I just touched it and like look how pigmented that is and this stuff is no joke in terms of longevity like this will stay cemented to your lids word of warning make sure you put on like some sort of a primer base before you put this on because it will stain like no other like watch my hand is going to yeah look at that my finger is already stained. Awesome, that is not coming off for a while. So that's just a little heads up. Make sure you put on a primer first, but this is amazing. If you wanna play around with something a little bit more sparkly and metallic and play with color for springtime, this is awesome. Next up, I wanna talk about these loose pigments that they recently launched from ColourPop. I've been playing around with the whole collection and I think I found my absolute favorites from the entire bunch. These are a loose pigment and all of these have a lot of glitter in them. So if you don't like any glitter, don't buy these. However, I've been really feeling the whole like glittery lids thing recently, as you can tell by the way my eyes are shining right now like Princess Celestia. I'll show you guys in a close up each of the swatches so you can actually see what they look like. Um, I'll show you dry as well as wet. I find that wet makes them a little bit more metallic so it kind of depends on the vibe you're going for. Now I'm gonna talk about an eyeliner I've been really enjoying. This is the Strictly Vinyl Eyeliner in the shade Extra. I haven't tried any of the other shades but this one is amazing. I was wearing this one on my eyes yesterday and it's really pretty because it's purple but it's still dark and has more of like a dusty vibe to it. And they call it vinyl because it's supposed to be shiny. I don't find it shiny, but I don't find it matte either. It sort of walks that fine line really nicely. I feel like this would be really good if you've ever wanted to experiment with color, but you don't want to go like full blown Ninja Turtle green on the lids. This is still dark enough so you could do a nice wing liner, but it's still got that pop because it's purple. I have heard that the other shades they've launched, I think they have five or six different colors, are a little bit on the watery side and don't work as well. Extra though is beautiful, highly recommend it. Now I want to talk about this e.l.f. highlight and I feel like I've mentioned it a lot recently, but I'm going to mention it again because it's under $10 and it's amazing. This is the e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder in Pearl Glow and again, Again, I've talked about this before, but like it is so creamy, so blinding on the skin. And I love the fact that it's not glittery, guys. It just gives this beautiful frosty glow and it's just over the top and stunning. If you want something that's a little deeper, they just recently launched a warmer tone. It's still, it works for my skin tone, but it's a lot softer, more champagne undertoned. 
also really pretty, but this is an incredible highlight and honestly, it's on par for me for a lot of my high-end stuff. Now into some cream shadows that I think are possibly some of the prettiest metallic cream shadows that I've ever seen. They're by Catrice Cosmetics. They're liquid metal cream eyeshadows. I have here Champagne Shower as well as Daily Dose of Rose. And these ones are really pretty because again, they are like metallic on the lids. Like I'll swatch some of them here for you guys so you can see, but like, See how blinding and frosty and beautiful that is? The one thing I will say is that once these dry down, they do not budge. So make sure if you want to blend it into a powder eyeshadow or something in the crease, just do it as soon as you apply it. Um, because again, yeah, if you mess up on any of the lines, either that's it, you're done. Like you can see, it's like, it's not moving, it's not budging, it's not cracking. It's really, really pretty. You just gotta work while it's still wet. Now I wanna talk about these blushes from City Color. I just recently got into these. These are not new launches, they're just new to me, but they are so beautiful. I'm wearing this one on my skin right now, mixed in a little bit with the Burt's Bees Blush and Toasted Cinnamon. Um, this combination has been really, really pretty. This shade looks really scary, but once you actually put it on, it's much softer and it just gives a pretty rosy finish. I love these. Next up is a loose highlight. This is from Wet n Wild, part of their Gothographic collection. This is the shade Moon Tears. And I know before you say anything that this is incredibly hard, if not impossible to find now because everyone has been obsessed with this, but I needed to include this because I need to have some words for Wet n Wild. You need to re-release this. Put this into your permanent collection and leave it there. The color right here is this beautiful champagne tone that just pops on the skin. Like I cannot get enough of it. And I'm so mad that it's so hard to find now. So um, wet and wild. Please bring this back because everyone's obsessed and we need it. Another loose highlighter that I've also been loving, this one's from ColourPop. This is their Luster Dust in the shade Strobe Globe. I've talked about this one a lot. One thing I will say about the ColourPop one is that it has a little bit of glitter in it. And this is basically the only highlight that I will allow on my face that has glitter in it and I'm okay with it because I apply it wet. That's the only way I'll wear it. I'll take a little highlight brush. I will spritz a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on it and then I'll dip it into a bit of the highlight. And doing it this way gives it almost, see that like metallic look to the skin? Um, and you seem to eliminate a lot of the glitteriness that you would get if you applied it dry. And surprisingly, it doesn't look super streaky on the skin when you apply it this way. It's just very over the top. Now I'm just covering myself in highlights, fine. It's very pow over the top and I love it. Next, I wanna talk about the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's by Kiss and this is their The Queen Creamy Lipstick. The shade that I'm wearing right now is Bottoms Up, which is a very bright, almost like a corally orange shade that I am obsessed with right now. I really like the formula and the color and it's super creamy and over the top and it feels really nice on the lips. This is a true like creamy liquid lipstick. It's not mattifying. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It's not super long wearing. I will notice it on like my coffee mug or something like that. Um, but it feels really nice. I love the color, really, really pigmented and super comfortable. Another lip product I've been enjoying is by Catrice. This is their liquid lip powder in the shade Cafe Americano, please. Um, I don't like uh, another one from this line, a, a much brighter color, but this one is beautiful because what it is, it's, it starts out as a liquid, but as it dries down, it gives almost like a, like a velvety matte kind of a look to the lips, but not being in a very like drying way. I love the undertone of this one. It's a nice peachy nude shade. It's long lasting. It's not transfer proof, but it does wear really well throughout the day. And I love the finish on the lips. It's comfortable, but still gives you that nice soft matte finish. Really pretty. Next is another glitter product because apparently for springtime, I can't get enough of glitter. This is by e.l.f. It is their glitter gel transformer. And at first I was a little like scared skeptical about this. I was like, oh, this is just gonna look like big chunky glitter and a clear gel, like it's gonna look awful. But I was swatching with it, playing with it, and personally, I like this on top of a, an eyeshadow. So I'll put on my eyeshadow, I'll put a little bit of this on top and I'll tap it on, and it just gives a really pretty finish. So this one is in... <sighs> Come on, Elf, you gotta help me out here. You gotta have something on here that tells me what shade this is. It definitely has a clear base. There is no color in this, but what I really like about it is this one has this pretty, like a duochrome glitter that I wasn't expecting. It has this peachy pink tone with some gold and it's very micro fine. So it looks really pretty on the eyes and it dries down really nicely. I haven't tried it with the lips. I've tried it as a highlight, which I don't like. 
I don't even know why I tried it because I hate glitter highlights. But I have this one in whatever shade this is. I will list it down below for you guys. As well as this kind of goldy one. Again, it is just basically pure glitter, but it looks so pretty and it wears really well. You do need like a glitter primer, but it looks really pretty as a topper. Um, and I think it's really fun. Fun for spring. Now, I mean, since you're here at the end of the video, hi, welcome. Thank you for watching. If you like drugstore videos, go and check out the one I did on Thursday where I talked about the best and worst new launches from the drugstore. I had tested these out for the last like two to three weeks, saved me some money on some products that just did not work at all for me and some really, really good ones that I am in love with. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.